Hey everybody, my name is Kitten, and welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. We're going to take a tea series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and finished our first, I guess, case or whatever. And now we're off to find out a new one. Uh, in the meantime, we're just roaming around in the city. So uh, to find a new one, we just got to talk basically to our partner, uh, Kato. We're gonna go do that first off though. I do, I do want to get every single one of my anything that I can find in the streets. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. That's for sure. And uh, what's interesting about this game is you can nearly like run into the, the walls and stuff like that. You can do whatever you want. It's really fun boys. I really love it. Are the guys still in there? Holy hey, shit. Ready to wreck shop talk? <laughs> not gonna be any bottles of beer on the wall when we're done. Oh, that's right. We're not actually done yet. All right, so you won't be able to save this point. Saving now is highly recommended. All right, um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this shit, boys. I don't have any side That's quests to I'm do, talking. so let's do this, boys. I've got so many yens. I still don't know what really to do with it. I can buy like food and stuff for health or uh, like stuff that is actually to? useless, like cat food this and stuff like that. But I'm so not gonna do it. And save my yen maybe for costumes yeah, later on. I'm not sure. You get it. Seat for when your boss shows up. What are you crazy? He'd murder me on the spot. Then he'd murder you two for dessert. Huh. He's that scary, huh? Yes, actually. Not to mention all his boys. All the more reason to put him in his place. Pricks like that need to learn how to treat a lady. Agreed. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I got a phone call from my controller. Sugiura. What the hell? Really? Choose a worse fucking time. Talk about us, kill. Hey there, you miss me? Jeez, it's been what, half a year? Everything good over there? Good as it gets. Well, I've got some good news of my own I wanted to give you, man. Tsukumo kun and I have our very own detective agency. Wait, are you saying you started a detective agency? We got a ri we got then, rivals? Now you're a detective. Yep. Got our own office and everything. It's in Yokohama. Didn't want to muscle in on your turf. Man, I don't know what to say. Oh, and by Stukumo, you mean... The one and only. At least, the only one I know. Thought his hacking might give us an edge. Never figured he and I were on the same wavelength about stuff. You want to wrap this up, Doc? Anyway, we got a pretty big case. And to be honest... We're in a little over our heads. So that got me thinking, why don't we call up the bros so they can show us how it's done? Uh, do you need an answer right away? We're in the middle of the usual. Oh, yeah? More sneaky shit? Yep, I'll tell you all about it later. Oh, come on. Give me just a hint. I don't have time for this shit, my guy. Sorry, buddy. I have time for a phone call Sorry. right now. <laughs> call him back later uh, because he wants my help for, uh, for a case. But right now, I got to do my own case. I got to finish my own. The hell, man, interrupting me in the middle of my shit. Kosuke, care to explain what the fuck's going on? It's uh, not what you think. We're here on account of a woman named Keiko Hamada. She says she's been threatened by an illegitimate business. Oh, I see. You're the guy who had this dipshit's phone. Yagami Detective Agency, at your service. Yagami Detective? Yo, wait a sec. You the kid Matsugane-san took in? There, you see? <laughs> I told you people have heard of us. Huh. As for me, the name's Kaito. Used to wear the Matsugane. <laughs> ah, so. Oh, I've heard plenty about you. You're a real celebrity, buddy. <laughs> a man's gotta have a reputation, right? Masa but do you have an ego like that, Kato? Good but lord. He is an ape and just as dumb. Let's an amateur thief get the drop on him that forks over the family safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a real legend. Don't talk like you were there, jackass. You want an ape? I'm about to go ape shit here. Come on, man. Don't give him what he wants. Fuckhead. 
Now that we're past introductions, we're here to get Keiko-san's money. And we'll be tacking on our fee on top of that. Just business. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Hear that, boys? The detectives come to collect. You know the best part of breaking ranks with the Tojo clan? The freedom. No more paying cuts to guys upstairs. Makes us even tougher. You really think you can stop me? This is damn good soundproof. Meaning whatever goes on inside, stays inside. You'll find out just how convenient that is. You hear that, Kaito-san? He says we're free to cut loose. Oh, yeah. Best news I've heard all day. I'm gonna open up a can of... Who the fuck is calling me again? Hey, uh, hold that thought a minute. Really? Greetings, Yagamichi. Did Sugiyoshi call you a second ago? He did, but look, Sukumo, now's really not a good time. Yeah, it's really not a good time. Oh, I'm so fighting he really here. Are just busy? He said you hung up on him, so I wanted to make sure. He didn't offend you, did he? I'd hate to think he upset you. you oh know? my goodness. But if so, we didn't mean it. On behalf of both of us, I offer my profuse apologies. Yep, no offense taken, man. But you see my point, right? Sugiyoshi and I are a team. Our actions reflect on each other. Any responsible member of a company. I mean, any responsible member of society. It's, it's a matter of respect. Okay, I get the picture. We'll continue this later. Okay, but when is later? Should I call you back? If you have an estimate, I can set then a Then shut the fuck up, no man. Oh, I ain't on the phone again. Good lord. Alright, let's do this. Right. Uh, where did we leave off? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, pretty lame. Yeah, pretty lame, yeah. Pretty lame, all right. You what the fuck are we doing here? Meet. Forget about your goddamn phone. We got a fight to do. But okay, skill, sure, whatever, whatever. All right, go. I got you. All right. Oh shit. All right, go, 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 go. Boom. Woo! Let's go, boys. Just like that. All right, fireman uh, carry. Boom. Just like that. All right, go, 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 go. And we're gonna be this ass. No, you don't. Get your hands off my man. Fireman scary bitch. Got you. Alright, uh, you good? Let's go, boys. Boom! Kick your ass right there. And just like that, my special finish right there. And I'm about to kick your ass as well. There we go. They're all dead. Look at that blood on their face as well. Holy shit, boys. That goddamn call, a phone call is gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my mind with it. Yo, I just Listen, gained three ta I just three k from to that. Both of you for all you've done. Yeah, I'm just glad to hear they got your money back. These two are something, huh? Oh yes. I don't know how I could possibly repay them. Uh, don't worry about it. Besides, those thugs paid our service fee and then some. <laughs> nice of them to eat the cost, huh? Beg your pardon? Oh, uh, nothing. I take it all back. Anyway, what happened to the crooks? If they're smart, they're skipping town. Doubt they'd reopen after how bad we wrecked the place. As for Kosuke, I made sure to tip his college off about his little side business. Should help him rethink his life choices. So I'd say this case is closed. Well, I sure learned my lesson. It's a scary world out there. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm From now on, I choose the place when meeting boys online. And I should probably change dating apps while I'm at it. That's your big takeaway? Really, Keiko Chan. You're laying this all on the app, not the sketchy internet dudes. Oh, I don't think so at all. Plenty of people these days meet their match online. It's true, Kaito-san. Apparently that's a thing now. You see... If you don't seize the opportunity when it knocks, it won't be just the times that leave you behind. I'm fine. Hear you loud and clear. Saori-san and Hoshinokun sure are taking their sweet time. Now that you mention it, they should have left the courtroom a while ago. Maybe they stopped for a quickie somewhere. There's yeah, nothing right. between those two. Nothing real, anyway. These old eyes can tell that much. 
Wisdom comes with age, huh? Damn right it does. And I've got more than you kids on both counts. You talking about Matsugane-san? Yep. The lawyer and the Yakuza. Best of both worlds. Though we came from different backgrounds, we were brothers in arms. Both trying to make it in Kamuracho. You two ought to visit his grave every now and again. We will. That goes without saying. Well, I guess we should get going. I guess so. Thanks for having us on such short notice. Oh, and give the two lovebirds our regards. All right. Let's find out what's the verdict on this man right here. They're gonna succeed on their case of defending uh, him or what? The court is prepared to issue its verdict. The sentence for the defendant, Akihiro Ihara is six months of penal servitude. He's getting prison time for his first offense? Isn't it usually just probation in cases like this? Yes. I'm sure his attitude didn't help the situation. From the start, the evidence was stacked against him, and all he did was deny it. If that will be all, we can proceed with the court's rationale. The defendant may be seated. hear this standing up your honor in a warehouse about three days ago a body turned up in Yokohama oh maybe you hadn't heard that what what the hell what is he talking about I don't know <laughs> I'll take that as a no in that case Make sure you pass this along to the Kanagawa police. They'll want to know that the body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. He deserved to die a thousand times, but he was never even accused of a crime. No, he just went on with his life. The law let him walk. An utterly broken system. Order in the court. Yeah, order. The Come on, man. Order. For making such what was that all about? Defense? Do you have an explanation for the meaning of this? I don't know, man. What the fuck's going on here? We, uh... Well... Well, that's, the uh, That's breaking it, uh, basically. Sounds like a plan. I need to get back to Sugiura, too. He was telling us about a big job. You mean a big job for us? Yeah, down in Yokohama. By the way, Sugiura and Tsukumo? They're detectives now. Those two detectives? A <laughs> good one, Todd. It... Wait, you serious? <sighs> this game's absolute bullshit. It's like it's designed to eat your money. Yeah, what a fucking scam. It's an arcade machine, my guy. What the fuck are you talking about? Really? Hell yeah, dude. Why don't we go give some asshole a game over? You know I'm always down. I see the local punks are cheerful as always. I better not stick out. These guys are looking for an excuse to pick up a fight. Hey, I'm looking for an excuse as well. I like fighting, boys. I like the fights. Ganger, gangsters don't ask questions. When going get uh, get stuff, okay. Battle rewards, all that good stuff. Okay, let's just leave this place, boys. I mean, I am looking for an excuse myself, but whatever. Shouldn't we go stop these guys though? They're looking for a fight. We should probably stop them, anyways. Uh, where where do we go now? So, mad direction, neither direction. Return to the y uh, Yagami Detective Agency. Now, they, uh, I did get a call earlier, right? Uh, is that the guys that want me to talk to them or something? I did level up, I think, or I got some points. Enough points to spend, boys, on abilities and stuff. So, break, fall, 
Breakfall Adept reduces damage taken when falling from high places. Okay. Leapfrog Strike. I'm actually going to do the Leapfrog uh, thing. It seems like a really good one, boys. We're going to do that one. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go. Uh, we could probably take a taxi, though, uh, to that place, to the Yagami uh, Detective Center, because otherwise I really don't have anything. I don't see any, like, clothes uh, shop. It's just a bunch of uh, grocery stores or whatever. Or just a bunch of markets. I, I, I don't see actual clothes stores. There's a bartender right here. Aside from that, not really any of it. Game Center Charles. And there's the Gandal Law Office. So I, yeah, I don't see anything. Let me uh, let me go over there. We're going to take a taxi, boys. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, let's go, boys. We're, we're going to take a taxi. So uh, the base fare is 400, and 400 yen. Whatever, dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so uh, it's telling me I can go. No, actually, yeah, there we go. Right there. Put me right there. There we go. Let's be on our way. Man, a 400 yen for a taxi, you gotta be shitting me. How much is it worth for yen compared to American dollars, boys, or Canadian dollars? Actually, I legit don't know. Because that shit sounds like it, it's costing a lot. Holy fuck. Alright, so let's see really quick. We're going there. I mean, you gotta be rich in this town uh, to have goddamn 400 yen or something. Okay, let's see. This is the Yagami Detective Agency. I run the place with the help of my partner, an ex-Yakuza named Kaito. I wish I could say keeping this place afloat was smooth sailing. But the reality is, we'd be drowning if it weren't for the gigs we get from Genda-sensei. It's not like we don't have the technology. But when street smarts fail, most of the time we have to get physical. That happens a lot. What are we doing here? Just playing with your, your drone, my guy? So we got about a hundred from that. Uh, listen, is that gonna be copyrighted music and stuff like that? Let me uh, just look around, I guess, uh, really quick. What's, uh, what's waiting for us in here? So the master system, give it, uh, I guess I'll give it a, wor a little worm. What, what is that? Oh, okay, so it's, uh, it's a console. What type of console is that? Select the game, switch to Japanese version. A Sega game, boys. 1986. Holy shit. Uh, view the controls. Select the game. Okay. And we can we can actually play two player as well. What the fuck? In the game, we can play two players. What the hell? Button configuration. Switch to Japanese. No. Select the game. Alex. In the... Uh, Alex Kid in Miracle World. That's the only game I got. Oh, that's why I gotta go buy some games. I can go to that shop, that game shop, and I can buy games. Well, we could try this game, but I'm not gonna try it, boys. I'm not gonna try any games right here, but that's kind of interesting. So I gotta talk to him right now. Okay, well, what about uh, first off, though? What is that? De decorate? A change of scenery might be nice. Decorate the room. Wait, what exactly? Do I have anything? Select the item. Oh, I don't have any items. Yeah, so I gotta go buy some items and stuff like that. So that's what you want to do. I guess it's just for cosmetic around the place. Uh, what about this? What about your costume, though? I kind of want to switch my outfit. All right, my guy, let's yes, do this. Let's, uh, let's talk. Weren't you supposed to call Sugiura? Uh, not now. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, I do. Well, I, I need to need to talk to him. Crazy how he ended up in our line of work. After seeing us in action, who could blame him? Yagami-san, everything okay over there? Yeah, sorry, it's a long story. You were saying something about a big case? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, you gotta come check out Yokohama. We've been getting jobs left and right down here. And if we can ace this case I've got lined up, we'll be the hottest detectives in town. Oh, yeah? You sure it's a legit lead? Hey, have some faith. Would I waste your time on a bad lead? I don't Just know, you're you. Me, man. <laughs> well, I do appreciate that. Then should I save the details for when I see you? Sure. When do you want us over? Honestly, ASAP. Tomorrow if you can swing it. We're based in Ichincho. Look for an office that says Yokohama 99 out front. That's us. The real question is, 
Did you free on such short notice? Uh, let me check my schedule. What schedule? Outside of today's shit, we haven't had work in weeks. Shut the fuck up, man. They're gonna hear you. Cut, smart guy. Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> Guess we don't want to look desperate. Yeah, we gotta let him know we're busy. Come on, uh, Kato. Sorry, Sugira. Yeah, tomorrow works just fine. Perfect. Man, this is gonna be so great. Oh, and Kaito-san's coming too, right? He'll be there. See you guys soon, then. Sugiura said he'd give us the details when we get there. Huh. Way to build the suspense. Yokohama, though. Can't say I'm really familiar with that neck of the woods. Same here. But you know what? Kamurocho has been pretty tame lately. Maybe this is our chance to broaden our horizons. We're switching towns or switching uh, districts, boys? Is that how we're gonna get more uh, options and stuff? Maybe. Alright, the game is starting for real. Japanese music, boys. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. I'm about to find out in a second. Uh, once I'm done with this video, that's for sure. Look at that anime opening right here. What the hell? It's literally what it is, boys. Look at this shit. Yeah, this is definitely copyrighted. I, I can just tell this is copyrighted for sure, boys. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. I can't make any mu goddamn money from all these goddamn games with their music. Look at this shit, though. It's literally... Yeah, they even have the music and everything. Why? Like, why the fuck is this like an anime shit right here? And who is this girl? Who, who is he? Who is he? I'm not gonna lie, boys, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was literally an ap anime opening for a video game. I love it. Absolutely love it. Close to Chinatown. So much for us getting a decent meal on this trip, huh? Well, then how about on the way home we take ourselves a little detour? Maybe. Sukumo's place is way out there. Want to take a taxi? I suppose we could. But why don't we hoof it? Yeah, we could see the sights. I guess I'm on board with that. All right. So I guess we're gonna run, boys, or we're gonna walk. Wait, there's some uh, hostile people in there. You can see on the mini-map and stuff. Interesting. Hostile people. Um, so what? We've got a brand new map. Yeah, we're in a brand new place, boys. Interesting. Brand new place. So these are the arcade machines. Uh, we can buy stuff from the actual stores. But I don't have any store right here. It doesn't look like. It's just a bunch of restaurants. Okay. And uh, aside from that, nothing really. This is where we're supposed to go right now, at least. We don't have any side quest or anything, so. All right, let's just uh, let's just run, boys. Let's just jump on someone's car for no reason. Wait, there's some people right here. Oh, they, these are bad people right here. Oh, you want to fight? All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. You want to fight right now? I'm all day right there on that. All right, let's go. Boom. Oh, got you. Dead, my, uh, Dead Valley uh, carry right there. Dead Men's Valley. Alright, just stay down. We got some extra points from that. Okay. 
These guys just started jumping on us, so there's gonna be random people jumping on us every time. Look at that! Always, oh shit! Watch out now! Boom! Oh, look at this shit! Oh, that was awesome! That was awesome, boys! All right, uh, he's uh, doing that, so we gotta throw him around. Go! Boom! Boom! All right, got him! All right, so a hundred, a uh, thousand yen. Yo, we just got a thousand yen from that man. Holy shit! It's paying off to actually fight boys and it's pretty easy to fight in this game as well so I wonder man uh, how accurate this town is I really do yo hold up a sec Todd hmm? nonsense over there <laughs> that's not what I saw would you call me what the hey what are you filming me for knock it off chill out man why do you care I don't see anything that says I can't record here. No, stop! Just give me a reason. You have one? It's a free country, isn't it? Japan a free country? Hey! I don't know about that. What gives? You just kicked my sign over! Ah, that was the wind, man. A big old gust just came through. Right? Yeah, crazy. Just now it whooshed right over. Uh, I told you! Put that down! <laughs> Kids don't seem to give any fucks about people these days. Agreed. So much for seeing the sights, huh? Well, you're thinking what I'm thinking, aren't you? <laughs> Do you have to ask? <laughs> so, anything else you want to accuse us of? I'd say you must be losing it, Pop. Goddamn brats! I got that one! He called us goddamn brats! You picking on high schoolers, man? No. I just don't want you loitering in front of my store. That's all I said, okay? So stop disturbing my customers. <laughs> that part's not gonna make the video. Wow, is that one of those new smartphone models? May I? What the hell? Damn, that camera on this thing is amazing, man. Your parents buy it for you? <laughs> Holy crap, he kicked Sakaki down. You must be saying things, kid. Anyway, your smartphone's kind of dirty, don't you think? Let me see. Hey! Give me my phone back! You want it back? I'll give it back, but only if you put this poor restaurant owner's sign back up first. Asshole! You think you can fuck with us? Really? You're gonna kick your ass! A bunch of high schoolers are gonna kick my ass. Sure, buddy. Isn't it illegal to beat kids, though? Okay, dude. I think we're going a bit too far here. We're beating kids up. Okay, whatever. Holy shit, that's a takedown, all right. Oh, I got a guard now? Okay, I guess I got a guard now. So we're, we're still in tutorial mode for some reason, boys. Okay, oh, shit. So that's why it's different a little bit, because we're, uh, we're uh, fighting in crane style, I guess, right now. Interesting. Doesn't it? For fuck's sake. These guys are monsters. I think we are actually beating up kids. I I'm not sure why we did that right there. Yo. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> was that Aikido just now? Oh, don't tell me you're training in a secret dojo or something. Uh, just more of my own thing, really. Figured I'd find a way to hold back for punks like them. Here. This came from one of those kids. Your call what to do with it. You really didn't have to. But thank you. What if it was an actual live stream? We would have been in Those trouble for doing that. High. What the fuck was that <sighs> all about, private though? school kids would be better behaved, but they're just as immature. They look like a bunch of entitled brats. <laughs> They'd learn some manners the hard way in Comrade Show. Well, we've got our fair share of unsavory types. The Yakuza. Not to mention those Yokohama Leomon gangsters. Those kids wouldn't dare to mess with them. So they're selective about their targets. Yes. They'll only harass you if they think they'll get away with it. Think they'll be back for more? I certainly hope not. But anyway, I sure am glad you stopped by. Come to think of it, you're the only ones who've ever intervened. I take it you're not from around here? Yeah. But we might end up staying. For a while at least. 
Ever hear of a detective agency called Yokohama 99? We were on our way there right now. Hmm. I'm afraid that doesn't ring a bell. That's all right. If anything, we should get going. Sure. Oh, but before that, please take this with you. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Wristbands? What the fuck am I going to do with that? Okay, so about gear. Wearing gear can help you bolster your defense. Okay, is this an RPG all of a sudden, boys? We got some gears. How do I equip the gear, though? Okay, let me see really quick. So, we got some skills. I got enough points for another one of those. Uh, for the break fall thing. I got uh, not enough. Well, actually, I have enough points for the crane style. Sky Dancer hair, hair Walk. Or a special, which is this one. Uh, Lucky Gourmand, which is uh, boosts the chances of expanding an eater's lucky menu. Well, I don't care about that too much. Anything else? Crane style? Maybe abilities. I think I'm going to do Break Fall Adept. There we go. I'm going to do that one, boys. Okay, well, aside from that, like items, what do I costume wise? Street style. So there's got to be costume disguises that I can wear. Uh, gear, it's nearly like, uh, yeah, it's... Okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to set it up. I got some wristbands, I guess. So this is literally like playing an RPG or something. What the fuck is going on? I got some gear and stuff like that. Can I craft some? Maybe. Alright, uh, let's go, boys. I'm going to find out real quick. I mean, they're right there. Oh, there it is. I couldn't read that sign. Yokohama 99. Yeah, that's the place. Wow. Not too shabby, guys. Alright, well, I guess we're going in, boys. I really don't know any shops in town. I'm going to have to look it up. Like, uh, look uh, look up uh, sh shops and stuff that I can actually wear or buy new clothes and stuff like that. That's the one thing that is the most important thing for me. Yo. Ah, if it isn't the man of the hour, Yagamishi. All right, boys, I'm just going to stop it right here. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. So we'll continue for the cutscene in the next video. Keep it easy, boys.